welcome back now from the uh, video that we did for storing the getting the transaction on our local host now i'm going to proceed from there i want to see this data that we it is being sent after pay making payment i want to show you on how you can store it in 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 the database so what i'm going to do i'm going actually to to come here then create a file which i'll name it as db uh, db connect connection sorry b connection then i will come here and initiate a php file and i'll do this i will come here to my uh, to my browser so this is the zamp server that i'm running then i'll create a new a new file which i'll name it as mpesa uh, i will name it let me name it as mpesa tutorial um, uh, let me name it as trans uh the database i'm going to write name it as mpesa then i will do this i'll create then i will create a table which i'll name it as transactions then i'll add those four tables then what i'll do as we you can see here we we will get this type of data so let me just copy them so what we need i will want to store the uh, the name uh, the mpesa this merchant id i'll store this merchant id here let me write an id then let's set it as auto increment then after that let me save that then i'll do that then i'll add it as 500 and let's create another one another checkout id here and i'll just do that then i will uh, right there then 500 then what the next thing that i'm going to create i'm going to create this uh result code result code and uh, i just need at that and that then I'll let me add one take one column one column there like, let me add three three of them then what else do we need to store what else the name uh, the amount let me save the amount let me save the amount the amount let let's leave it as integer then uh what else do i need i will need the mpesa receipt which is there this is the mpesa receipt here let me do that which is also known as the transaction transaction id then the next thing i will do i will i will get what uh, let me leave it let me get the phone number let me get the phone number now i'll stay with this is the transaction table that we will store the information then we we'll, let me just save it where which which have i entered the link Vava int let me just set them as 11 then the int as 11 and yeah. the file then let me just save it Mm, here amount 11 there, there yeah let me just leave it as that and create you can see now this is the uh, we have created a table which is uh, an a uh, database which is known as mpesa then it contains one table which is a transaction now let's connect our this the let's connect it to the db this is the db which has this table now let me come here to the code and create a connection so let me create uh, define let me just use the, uh, define sorry define here server name then sorry let me write here as e. define server name then let me write define here then the password then the database name so I've named it as Mpesa here. You can see it already there. Then I will create a connection here. I will create try. Try that. Then I will write, I just use DB. Then my SQL connect. My SQL connect, then I'll connect to that. Else, you can just do that then else not else i will capture i will catch the error the neck of the error so let, let's test it if it has connected successful by just doing this copying this 
then just come into here then to the project here you can see it's connected successful and if we test when with a database that has does not exist or if you don't so that we can check if it's checking the error and you can reload here sorry what's up i've not saved i think here when i i do that let me test it i think this is not checking the error let's check the error well here by doing this if db is let me it's not db is not right db it's not you can do that here so let's test it and see if it's checking the error oh it's not echoing anything so let me echo not connected connection fail and else then you can see and see it's not connection fail and connection successful then you can just come and reload it here you can see connection successful let me try to enter a database that does not exist by doing this and when i come here and reload and see it's a known database there so let me enter our database which is mpesa here this is the database which is known as mpesa then just come here and replace it there successfully then just do this and reload you can see we have connected to the database successfully now the next thing we're going to do i'm going to comment this then the next uh, or i will just delete this then come back to come back to uh, this code that is handling our callback here you can see i've already uh, in the pre in the tutorial that i did and the previous one i had already uh, created the variable that will be getting that so here what i'm going to do i'm just going to come here and include include the database connection here then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to uh, do this come here at the bottom then i'm going to do mysql uh, i'm going to establish mysql query then what next will i do i will create a db then insert payment no i will not do that i will write a db then here and i'll do just do that after that i will come and write insert into then the table name which in our case the table name is known as transactions so this is where we want to store it transactions here so transaction then what i'm going to do I'm going to do that the checkout id merchant id so result call then in our in our folder in our folder we don't have we just have result code we have result code then the next thing that we have you can see from the table structure here we have amount then uh -huh. so i'm going to write the amount sorry let me copy it again the amount and there and the next thing we are going to do i'm going to copy the uh, mpesa received number which is also known as our transaction then uh, we'll come here then get the phone number yeah then i will close it then write the value and we'll wait right wait out which copilot to auto complete and confirm if everything is okay for number user user phone number so user phone number the transaction id amount and the result transaction so from that we can do this we can just leave it at there then we are going to test and see what will occur first let's confirm if here you can see from the database by writing there 
you can see there is nothing which is you can see now there is nothing which is there now let me test the uh, the SDK push and see how what will happen to our database so I'll come here and reload that the SDK push here the amount that is there you can see successful then from our point I will enter my MPESA pin because I've received a MPESA call back there 2000 let me enter my pin then let's wait for the confirmation method then reload this database and see if we will get the 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 data which has been sent let me reload it you can see here it is i have gotten the transaction id uh, the transaction id the phone number that i'd pay the, the the result code the checkout id then let me just test it while i am displaying it on the phone so that we can be sure that we're getting the same transaction and we'll try it with a different amount so let me share the uh, the phone here so let me trigger again the SDK push and see what will be done. Let me trigger it with a different amount. Let me trigger with a different amount. Let me cancel it, then trigger it with a different amount so that we can get a different kind of data which so that we can differentiate. Let me do like three shillings, then come back and share the screen. Let me do this then share the screen let me share the screen then reload and see i want to pay three shillings so when i reload uh, it's it has triggered there is the sdk push then let me enter my pin 2000 my pin my pin then let me just enter the there then click ok then come back to our database and see if we will get wait let's wait for the confirmation there is the confirmation message there then there it is paid three shillings then let me reload and see what it will occur let me set here a different amount so that we can test using that then come to here then share this screen let me do that then reload uh, with the application let me share it like this then reload here the two shillings so when i reload i receive an stk push and let me enter the the pin and enter and click ok after clicking ok Okay, okay, let's wait for the confirmation message. Once we have received the confirmation message so that we can, there's the confirmation message. There, there it is. Okay, now let's go to our database here and see if the transaction has been stored. And now you can see this is the transaction and this is the transaction ID. And the, for, and the amount is two shillings, this the one that is here. Right, the amount is one shilling because the first one we started we tested with two shillings and now it's one shilling now let's confirm the uh the transaction id you can see the transaction id is the same as the one that has been sent here so that's how you store the transaction and still still i can add another thing here you can see we are still receiving you can see from here we are still receiving the data that uh, will uh, that the user has been sent to this file so you can see the same the same one that we had received the last transaction that we had received which is this is the same value of the mpesa receipt number you can see so that's how you can store the mpesa transaction into your database the mpesa sdk transaction into a database so let's proceed to the other videos